Picture a gleaming metal bird, a marvel of engineering soaring effortlessly through the vast expanse of the sky. It slices through the air, leaving a trail of white against the canvas of blue. This is not magic. It's the captivating dance of air and metal, a testament to the power of physics. Join me as we embark on this exhilarating adventure where we'll demystify the science behind aircraft stability, revealing the secrets that allow these magnificent machines to grace the skies. Before we can delve into the specifics of aircraft design and the mechanics of flight, we need to grasp the fundamental concept of stability. In essence, stability refers to an object's tendency to return to its original state after being disturbed. Imagine a ball resting at the bottom of a bowl. If you nudge it, it will roll around briefly, but eventually settle back to its original position. An aircraft in flight is constantly being subjected to various forces. Gravity pulling it down, lift pushing it up, thrust propelling it forward, and drag resisting its motion. Stability ensures that even when these forces fluctuate, the aircraft will naturally tend to return to its intended path and orientation. There are two main types of stability we consider in aviation, static stability and dynamic stability. An aircraft with positive dynamic stability will dampen these oscillations over time, ultimately returning to a stable flight path. To fully comprehend the intricacies of aircraft stability, we need to familiarize ourselves with the three fundamental axes of rotation around which an aircraft moves. The pitch axis runs horizontally from wingtip to wingtip, and rotation around this axis is called pitching. Imagine the nose of the aircraft moving up and down like a seesaw. That's pitching. The roll axis extends lengthwise through the aircraft from nose to tail. Rolling involves the aircraft tilting from side to side along this axis. Think of an airplane performing a barrel roll, rotating around its longitudinal axis. Finally, the yaw axis is a vertical line passing through the aircraft's center of gravity. Yawing refers to the aircraft's nose moving left or right. The rudder, a movable surface on the vertical stabilizer, controls yaw. Understanding these axes of rotation is crucial because they provide the framework for analyzing an aircraft's stability. Now let's delve into two critical points that play a pivotal role in aircraft stability, the center of gravity, CG, and the center of pressure, CP. Picture the CG as the point where the aircraft would perfectly balance if it were suspended in mid-air. The CP, on the other hand, is the point where the aerodynamic forces acting on the aircraft are considered to be concentrated. For an aircraft to be longitudinally stable, the CP must be located behind the CG. This creates a stabilizing moment, like a weather vane always pointing into the wind. If the aircraft's nose pitches up, the CP being behind the CG generates a downward force, pushing the nose back down. Conversely, if the nose pitches down, the CP generates an upward force, restoring the aircraft to its original attitude. Maintaining this balance is a constant challenge, especially since the CG can shift during flight due to fuel consumption, passenger movement, or cargo loading. Pilots and aircraft designers carefully consider weight and balance calculations to ensure the CG stays within a safe operating range. This ensures the aircraft remains stable and controllable throughout its flight. Section 5. When balance shifts, understanding instability. Instability occurs when the forces acting on an aircraft disrupt its equilibrium causing it to deviate from its intended flight path. This can happen due to various factors, including shifts in weight distribution, aerodynamic disruptions, or external forces like turbulence. One of the most common causes of instability is a shift in the aircraft's center of gravity. If the CG moves outside of its safe operating range, it can upset the balance between the CG and the center of pressure, leading to instability. For instance, if too much weight is loaded in the aft section of the aircraft, the CG shifts rearward, making it prone to pitching up. Conversely, if the CG shifts too far forward, the aircraft can become nose-heavy, making it difficult to control in pitch. Turbulent air can cause rapid fluctuations in the forces acting on the aircraft, potentially leading to uncontrolled pitching, rolling or yawing motions. Aircraft design incorporates various features to mitigate instability, such as vertical and horizontal stabilizers and sophisticated control systems.
Section 6. Design Marvels. How Aircraft Achieve Stability. The quest for stable flight has driven aircraft design since the Wright brothers' first foray into the skies. One of the most fundamental design elements contributing to stability is the dihedral angle, the upward slant of an aircraft's wings from the fuselage to the wingtip. This dihedral angle enhances stability by creating a rolling moment that counteracts any sideslip or banking tendency. When an aircraft with dihedral wings starts to roll to one side, the lower wing experiences a higher angle of attack, generating more lift. Another crucial design feature is the sweep angle of the wings. Swept wings, angled backward from the fuselage, are commonly seen on high-speed aircraft. The shape and size of the tail section also play a vital role in stability. The vertical stabilizer provides directional stability, preventing the aircraft from yawing uncontrollably. The horizontal stabilizer contributes to pitch stability, keeping the aircraft's nose from pitching up or down excessively. From the shape of the wings to the configuration of the tail, every element plays a role in ensuring safe and predictable flight. Section 7. The Role of Control Surfaces. A Pilot's Perspective. While inherent stability is crucial, aircraft wouldn't be very useful if they couldn't maneuver. This is where control surfaces come into play, allowing pilots to intentionally manipulate the forces acting on the aircraft. The control yoke primarily controls the ailerons and elevators, while the rudder pedals control the rudder. The ailerons control the aircraft's roll. Moving the control yoke to the left causes the left aileron to deflect upward and the right aileron to deflect downward. The elevators control the aircraft's pitch. Pulling back on the control yoke deflects the elevators upward, increasing lift on the tail and causing the aircraft's nose to pitch up. The rudder controls yaw. Pressing the left rudder pedal deflects the rudder to the left, causing the aircraft's nose to yaw to the left. These control surfaces work in harmony with the aircraft's inherent stability characteristics. This allows pilots to maneuver the aircraft precisely while maintaining a safe and stable flight path. Section 8. Beyond Stability, Maneuvering the Skies While stability ensures an aircraft's natural tendency to maintain a straight and level flight path, it's the ability to maneuver that truly unlocks the freedom of flight. Maneuvering involves intentionally and controllably disrupting the aircraft's equilibrium to change its direction, altitude, or speed. To initiate a turn, the pilot uses the control yoke to bank the aircraft, rolling it to one side. This banking maneuver redirects the lift force, creating a horizontal component that pulls the aircraft into the turn. As the aircraft banks, the rudder is used to coordinate the turn, preventing adverse yaw. To climb, the pilot increases engine power and gently pulls back on the control yoke, pitching the aircraft's nose upward. Descending involves reducing engine power and gently pushing forward on the control yoke, pitching the aircraft's nose downward. Section 9. The Future of Flight Innovations in Stability As technology advances, so too does our understanding of flight and our ability to push the boundaries of aircraft design. One area of active research is the development of active flow control systems. These systems use tiny sensors and actuators distributed over the aircraft's surface to manipulate the airflow, enhancing lift, reducing drag, and improving stability and control. Another promising avenue is the exploration of morphing aircraft inspired by birds, which can change the shape of their wings in flight. The rise of autonomous flight systems also presents exciting opportunities for enhancing stability. The future of flight is filled with exciting possibilities, and the pursuit of improved stability will continue to drive innovation. Section 10, an invitation to explore the wonders of aviation physics. Our journey into the science of aircraft stability has taken us from the fundamental forces of flight to the intricate design features that allow these magnificent machines to grace the skies. The sky is not the limit when it comes to unraveling the mysteries of aviation.